Hey guys, in this video we are going to be working a granny square meant for a lightweight beachy adult poncho. This square is made with a lightweight number three yarn and a five millimeter hook and measures 13.5 inches across and 17 inches from corner to corner diagonally. To get started with this, we are going to start with a chain of seven and if you need to see how to do this or anything else in this video, I will put links for those videos in the description box below. So when you have these seven chains made up, we are then going to slip stitch into the first chain that we made to make a ring. So again, slip stitch into that first stitch and pull that tight. And we are now going to chain three, which does not count as a stitch and then we are going to triple crochet around this ring that we just made. So again triple crochet around the ring and then we are going to triple crochet around the ring again and triple crochet around the ring for a total of 24 triple crochets again not including this beginning chain three. So I now have two triple crochets around my ring. And I'm going to go on to triple crochet 22 more times for a total of 24 triple crochets around the ring. When you have 24 triple crochets around the ring, again, not including this beginning chain three, we will then slip stitch into the top of the beginning triple crochet. And that is the end of round one and you should have 24 triple crochets. For round two we are going to start with a chain of seven and this chain of seven counts as a double crochet and a chain of four. So this is the first double crochet of the round for this first stitch. Then we are going to skip the next stitch and work a double crochet in the next. And we are going to chain four, then skip a stitch and double crochet into the next. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. Again, chain four, skip a stitch and double crochet into the next. When you have made it all the way around that round, round two, and you have double crocheted into the second to last stitch of the round, like that should leave us with one stitch left to skip. Then we are going to chain four more. And then we are going to slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning seven, which would be the top of that beginning double crochet. So again, slip stitch into that stitch and that is the end of round two. You should have 12 double crochets and 12 chain four spaces. For the third round, we are going to start off by slip stitching into this first chain four space. So again, just slip stitch into that space. So that's where we are starting. And then we are going to chain three which counts as our first double crochet. And then we are going to double crochet four more times around this same chain four space. So again, double crochet four more times around the same chain four space, which will give us five double crochets around this chain four space, including that beginning chain three. We will then chain one and come to this next chain four space where we will work five double crochets around this chain four space as well. Three, four, and five. Then chain one again and do this all the way around. 
again by working five double crochets around the next chain four space and then chaining one and repeat this all the way around. When you have made it all the way around that round, round three, with five double crochets around the last chain four space and a chain one, we will then slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning three of this round. And at the end of this round, you should have 60 double crochets and 12 chain one spaces. For the next round, we are going to start with a chain of six, which counts as a triple crochet and a chain two. So again, chain six, and then we are going to triple crochet around the next chain one space. So skip over all five of those double crochets and triple crochet around the next chain one space. We will then chain four and then triple crochet around the same chain one space. We will then chain two and triple crochet around the next chain one space. Then chain four and triple crochet around the same chain one space. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. Again, by chaining two and triple crocheting around the next chain one space. Then chain four and triple crochet around the same chain one space. And repeat that all the way around this round. When you have worked a triple crochet, a chain four and a triple crochet around the last seemingly open chain one space, we are going to chain two and triple crochet around this chain one space that is right before our beginning chain six. So again, triple crochet around that chain one space and then chain four. And then we are going to slip stitch into the fourth chain of this beginning six. And that creates our last V, extended V stitch. And at this point, you may need to just set your work down and get it to lay flat. And that was the end of round four. And you should have 24 triple crochets, 12 chain four spaces and 12 chain two spaces at the end of this round. For round five, we are going to start off by slip stitching into this first chain two space. Again, so that is where we are starting off. And we are going to start off with a chain of three, which does count as our first double crochet. And then we're going to work two more double crochets around this same chain two space for a total of three double crochets around this chain two space. Then we are going to chain one and work four double crochets around this next chain four space. So again, work four double crochets around this next chain four space, then chain one and around this next chain two space, we will work three double crochets. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. Work three double crochets around each chain two space and four double crochets around each chain four space with a chain one in between each set. So again, double crochet four times around the next chain four space, chain one, and double crochet three times around the next chain two space. 
and repeat that all the way around. When you have made it all the way around that round, round five, you should have four double crochets around the last chain four space and a chain one and we will slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning three of this round. And at the end of this round, you should have 84 double crochets and 24 chain one spaces. And again, at the end of this round, you may just want to lay it flat and get it to lay correctly. For the next round, round six, we are actually going to slip stitch around the previous chain one space. So it is a little weird to do, but it is possible. So again, slip stitch around the previous chain one space. And then we are going to chain seven, which counts as a double crochet and a chain of four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we are going to skip these three double crochets and double crochet around the next chain one space. Then we are going to chain four, skip the next four double crochets and double crochet around the next chain one space. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. Chain four, and double crochet around the next chain one space. Again, chain four and double crochet around the next chain one space and repeat that all the way around. When you have double crocheted around the last chain one space of that round, we are then going to chain four more and then slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning seven, which is the top of the beginning double crochet of the round. And again, lay your work down to work it out. And at the end of that round, round six, you should have 24 double crochets and 24 chain four spaces. For the next round, round seven, we are going to slip stitch into the first chain four space. So that's where we are starting off at. And we're going to start with a chain of three, which does count as a double crochet. And then we're going to work four more double crochets around this same chain four space, which will give us a total of five double crochets around this chain four space. Then chain one, and work five double crochets around the next chain four space. We will then chain one and work five double crochets around the next chain four space. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. Again, by double crocheting five times around each chain four space and chaining one in between each set. When you have worked five double crochets around the last chain four space of the round, we will then chain one more and slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning three. And that was the end of round seven and you should have 120 double crochets for this round and 24 chain one spaces. For the next round, round eight, we are going to slip stitch around the previous chain one, which is the last chain one space from the previous round. And then we are going to single crochet around this same chain space. Then we are going to chain five and single crochet around the next chain one space. Then chain five and single crochet around the next chain one space. 
and repeat this all the way around this round again by chaining five and single crocheting around the next chain one space and repeat this all the way around when you have made it all the way around that round and single crocheted around the last available chain one stitch you should end with five chains and then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round and at the end of this round you should have 24 single crochets and 24 chain five spaces for round nine we are going to start off by slip stitching around the first chain five space and then we are going to chain three which counts as our first double crochet and then we will work four double crochets around this same chain five space which will give us five double crochets around this space then we will chain one and work five double crochets around the next chain one space and that is what we are going to do all the way around this round work five double crochets around each chain five space with a chain one in between each set of five double crochets and repeat that all the way around when you have made it all the way around that round round nine and you've worked five double crochets around the last chain five space we will then chain one more and slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning three from the beginning of the round and at the end of this round you should have 24 chain one spaces and 120 double crochets for round 10 we are going to slip stitch around the previous chain one space and we are going to single crochet around the same chain space and then we are going to chain six so again chain six and then single crochet around the next chain one space and that's what we're going to do all the way around this round chain six and single crochet around the next chain one space and repeat that all the way around this round when you have made it all the way around that round round 10 and you have single crocheted around the last available chain one stitch we should end with a chain of six and we will slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round and we should have 24 single crochets and 24 chain six spaces and again if your work is acting a little weird just lay it out flat for the next round round 11 we are going to slip stitch around this first chain six space and then we are going to chain four which counts as our first triple crochet and then we are going to work three more triple crochets around this same chain six space so we should have a total of four triple crochets once we have worked these three and then we are going to chain three and work four more triple crochets around this same chain six space when you have those four triple crochets around the same chain six space this will be our first corner and we will now be turning our circle into a square so we are now going to on to work seven double crochets around the next chain six space 
So again, work seven double crochets around this next chain six space. When you have those seven double crochets around that chain six space, we will then work seven half double crochets around the next three chain six spaces. So work seven half double crochets around this next chain six space and the next two after it for seven half double crochets in three chain six spaces. When you have seven half double crochets around three chain six spaces, we will then work seven double crochets around the next chain six space. So we are now mirroring the other side. So again, work seven double crochets in this next chain six space. When you have those seven double crochets, we will then work the next corner by working four triple crochets around the next chain six space. Again, work four triple crochets We will then chain three and work four more triple crochets around this same chain six space. And this is the second corner for what will be our square. And we are going to go on to repeat this same thing all the way around this round. So now that we have our second corner done, we will now go on to work seven double crochets in the next chain six space, then work seven half double crochets in the next three chain six spaces, then work seven double crochets in the next chain six space, then work four triple crochets in the chain three and four triple crochets in the corner. And you will want to repeat that all the way around until you have come back to the beginning and you have worked seven double crochets around the last available chain six space. When you have made it all the way around that round with your four corners and your double crochets, half double crochets, and double crochets on each side with seven double crochets around the last chain six space. We will then slip stitch into the fourth chain of the beginning four for this round. And that is the end of round 11. And at the end of this round, you should have four chain three spaces, 32 triple crochets, 56 double crochets, and 84 half double crochets. And again, our work should be turning into a square now. So if you lay it flat, you may just need to tug on the very corners just a little bit to get it to lay flat. For the next round, round 12, you're going to start off with a chain of four, which counts as a triple crochet and we are going to triple crochet in the next three stitches, which will bring us to the chain space for the corner. And in this chain space for the corner, we are going to work nine triple crochets around this chain space. So again, work nine triple crochets around this chain space and you may need to scoot over the triple crochets a little bit as you go to fit all nine. When you have worked those nine triple crochets around the chain space for the corner, we will then go on to work one triple crochet in the next six stitches. So again, work one triple crochet in the next six stitches. 
when you have those six individual triple crochets. We will then work one double crochet in the next 31 stitches. So again, work one double crochet in the next 31 stitches. When you have worked one double crochet in those 31 stitches, we will then work one triple crochet in the next six stitches, the last six stitches before we come to the next corner. When you have worked those six individual triple crochets, and we are now at the chain space for the corner again, we will work nine triple crochets around this chain space for the corner. When we have worked those nine triple crochets around the chain space for the corner, we will then go on to repeat this all the way around this round by triple crocheting one time in the next six stitches, double crocheting one time in the next 31 stitches, triple crocheting in the next six stitches, and then working nine triple crochets around the chain space for the corner. And again, you will want to repeat this all the way around until you have worked the nine triple crochets around the last chain space for the corner, and then we will work this last side together. When you have worked the nine triple crochets around the last chain space for the last corner, we will then go on to work one triple crochet in the next six stitches. When you have those six individual triple crochets, we will then go on to work one double crochet in the next 31 stitches. Again, work one double crochet in the next 31 stitches. And when you have worked one double crochet in those 31 stitches, it should leave you with two stitches left, which we will work one triple crochet into both of these stitches to finish off the six triple crochets that should be in this spot. And then we will slip stitch into the fourth chain of the beginning four from the beginning of this round. And that is the end of round 12. Just like every other round, you may need to lay out your work and straighten it out just a tad bit. And at the end of this round, you should have 84 triple crochets and 124 double crochets. For the next and final round, round 13, we are going to start with a chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and single crochet into the same stitch. We will then single crochet into the next seven stitches, and this will bring us to the very middle stitch of the nine that are crocheted around the corner chain. When you have worked those seven single crochets, you should have eight single crochets for the round so far, and then we are going to work three single crochets into this stitch, which is the fifth stitch of the nine in the corner, also the middle stitch. And then we are going to go on to work one single crochet in the next 51 stitches. So again, work one single crochet in the next 51 stitches. When you have worked one single crochet in those 51 stitches, we should now be at the middle stitch of the nine in the corner again. And in this stitch, we will work three single crochets. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. Again, by going on to work one single crochet in the next 51 stitches, and then work three single crochets 
in the next, which is the very middle stitch of the corner. And again, we are going to go on to repeat this all the way around this round until you have worked three single crochets into the middle stitch of the very last corner. And then we will do this last side together. When you have worked three single crochets in the last corner, you should have 43 stitches left for this round. So we will then go on to work one single crochet in those last 43 stitches. When you have single crocheted in those last 43 stitches and you've made it back to the beginning single crochet, we will slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet and that is the end of round 13 and at the end of this round you should have 216 single crochets. The end of round 13 is also the end of this square so you will now want to finish off your work and go on to make either three more of these squares for just four squares for the body of a poncho or make five more squares to make a poncho with a hood. And if you need to see how to assemble a poncho or a poncho with a hood, I will link a video on how to do that in the description box below. You may notice that the edges of this square do not look completely straight when it is laying flat, but that is how it is supposed to be and when you sew the squares together to form the poncho, it will pull on the squares in the way it needs to to make the squares straighten out on the edges. And that's all there is to it, so I hope that that was helpful and enjoyable for you. If it was, please hit that sub like and bell button and leave me a comment to tell me what you think. I hope that you guys go on to create many more amazing things, and until next time guys, I'll see ya.